Hi, it's Molly from All Roads Lead to Food. We are going to be canning some white beans in our Presto Electric pressure canner. And I'm also going to go over what to do if you get an error. So first, for our beans, what I like to do is I'll fill up my jars with our dried beans. And you can do this with any kind of dried bean. I just am out of white beans, so this is what we're doing. I'll fill them up less than halfway because they will expand a lot with the water and soaking. You can see right about where they are in the jar. Not quite up halfway. And then I soak them in non-chlorinated water. And these are going to sit in this water anywhere from overnight to 24 hours. And they will expand and fill up that jar in that amount of time. I'll drain them, I'll refill the water, and we'll get some lids, and they are ready to be canned. So I really like this pressure canner. My mother-in-law got it for me as a gift, and it is something that is really a blessing. I do took all the scariness out of having to pressure can, because this does a lot of the work for me. So I made sure I took the bubbles out and poked things down. I wiped my rims. I'm ready for lids. And remember when you're putting your lids on and your rings that they only have to be finger tight. And what that means is just barely tight. Because if it's too tight, it will put pressure on the lid in the wrong way and it can actually compromise its sealing. So we'll get the rings on all of these and we will get them in the pressure canner and I'll go over each step with you and what to do if you get an error. One of the biggest errors I get is just an interrupted interruption in the pressure canning and I've had a couple different reasons for that. Now when you're pressure canning you don't have to have the water above the rim or above the lid of the jar. Now the water will go above them a little bit on these small pint jars, but on a quart jar you couldn't even fill this up to get the water above it. And the pot on the inside has a max water line that they want you to fill it up to. Okay, so we have it on pressure can. I pressure can my beans for 90 minutes. We are below 5,000 feet our old house, we were above 5,000 feet, so some things have changed for me. I have to remember to do it for 90 instead of 95 minutes. And you push it in and tell the, that, yes, you want to do it for 90 minutes. And get the lid that I left over here. I'll put this on. Now, it has a double locking system. So you can see you want to line up the little notch. And you want it to be locked and something's stopping it. So one thing that interrupts and causes an error is that rubber ring. If it's not fully on that little um, stainless steel bead, the rubber seal, um, I've had that happen a bunch of times, especially if I'm doing batch after batch. I have to always check that. There it goes. Lock it, and then you'll lock the lid down right there. This is our regulator. I go ahead and put it on. It'll tell me later to put it on, but you have can and you have vent. I want it to can. Make sure it's in the right spot. You can see I need to dust this thing. Okay, so pressure can, and it's telling me to insert the jars. I did that, so I'll push in on the black button and tell it that I did that. You can water bath can in this too, which I like for small batches, but it's not quite convenient for big batches of water bath canning. Now it'll warm. And what that means is the water or temperature of the items inside your jars and outside your jars should be the same. So that warming cycle is really important. And then it asked me to fill my jars, and I did, so it'll heat up. And it will always vent before it starts to can. And the reason it does that is because after it did that warming period, it wants to make sure that it's at zero before it starts building pressure because that, that warmth can build some pressure in there too. You can see it's venting That's to make sure it's at zero. My regulator's on can. And 
and now it's going to start canning and you can see it's telling me to put the regulator on which I already did so I have to click it I always double check it because I want to make sure it's on can I've had it on vent before and it will just continuously try to build pressure which just ran my electricity for too long so now what happened here was it had something happened to where it stopped canning so what happened was actually our power blinked off for a few minutes so I have to completely unplug it turn it to vent release all the pressure and start completely over now because this are these are beans it's not really that big of a deal I can I can do them again and they was it started the blinked off a little bit in the beginning so it wasn't that big of a deal now when it's done canning it'll go through a cooling period that actually takes quite a while and then it will tell you when it's done and don't open the lid until it says that it is done that means it's completely unpressurized you open up both seals and there are our beans now you can see that the water inside the jar is not fully covering the beans that doesn't matter they are still in a airtight bacteria free environment so they will be just fine so this is my pressure canner and I really really enjoy this one I don't think I would get another one for any reason maybe if I just have to do so much but this is how we do it so thank you so much for watching I hope this helped all my lids are already sealed but it's always best to wait 24 hours into the pantry they